everyone. Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a gift I have made for, uh, I actually used to babysit this munchkin, now he has a munchkin. So um, yeah, so I made it for the little one. She's only a couple months old and apparently there's lots of purples in her room so I thought this would be fantastic. It's actually a panel. It's upside down to you but we'll get a good picture of it so stay tuned at the end. And it's actually got a little game on it. It says find the starting flag and follow the undersea path. See if you can answer the questions along the way. How many legs does the octopus have? So here's the start and you just keep going and so on and so forth. It's really quite cute. So I thought it'd be fantastic. Good way to, it's, and it's a good size. I forgot to measure it, but it, you, as you can tell, it's a good size. And then just chose some uh, soft flannel backing for it. So um, I'm just doing some fun stuff in the border. So here we go. You can see what I'm up to. Kind of putting a, it's a leaf and then circles from one end to the other, this was a little bit long on that one, um, from one end to the other, and then that's what's getting me my space or my giving me the access of how I can get to the top of the leaf again to make another leaf, okay? So I just looked at the panel, oops, move my, move over a little bit here. Uh, I looked at the panel and that's where I was getting some inspiration for stuff to put in the border. I mean, so look what you have on your quilt, see what you want to accent, you want to highlight, you know, that sort of thing, you know, and go from there. And I just chose a linen thread just because I figured it'd be consistent and it's a soft color. There's a lot of color on the quilt per se. And I bordered it up uh, three times, four times, sorry. You know, and you could add a, you know, quick little triangle on the back to make a fish. I mean, you could do that too. I mean, there's many ideas. You just got to figure out how you get yourself from the top to the bottom and then back up to the top to continue on in your next movement. Whether you're doing loops on the outside, you're just doing a leaf or you're doing like a little accent, you know, like some seaweed or something, you know, just as this panel is sort of under sea, right? But, you know. Take inspiration from what you have going on already. We'll just plug our way around. And of course I don't want the outside border to be too quilted, you know, because I want it to remain nice and soft and snuggly, you know. Don't want it too quilted. Save all that for the inside, you know, and another border, so, or whatever. And be very organic with your leaves, you know, they're all different sizes. Some are, you know, some are bigger, some are leaner, some are, you know, some point to the left, some point to the right, some do the hokey pokey. <laughs> Just come down the other side. You know, I just kind of went like this, just doing the leaf again. See, and then come to the tip of it, and then make the leaf shape, and then make your circles, coming your way up the leaf to the other side, and leaf shape, or whatever. I don't know, whatever it is you're doing. And you can do many different things in here. You could just do a little wavy line. You don't have to do the circles. I thought, you know, little bubbles. There's always bubbles, you know. Um, so I've got circles in the other one too, but you'll, you'll see. That'll be in the blue border that you see. 
And I don't want to hit my bar, so I'll probably stop after the next leaf and go to the next one. Okay, we'll leave it there. So put some little locking stitches. I know my bar is right here, but I want to be able to be complete the leaf um, all the way up to the tip. So now I didn't want to bang into it. Okay, so that's that one right there. It's really kind of cute. Fills it in. Okay, and then um, this one right here is just a matter of like it almost looks like a safety pin. It's got the little circle goes to the line, circle goes to the line, and you're just making your way around the whole border. You know, you're just adding texture, you're adding some fun texture and some, you know, movement. I probably wouldn't do anything inside the. Oops, I went the other way. Uh, the yellow, and this is just simple and easy. Just like that. It's just like a little safety pin. I just put a little couple chalk marks to make sure that's the design I wanted to do in this one here. Doesn't have to be too complicated when it comes to borders, right? Just some easy movement and the pattern once repeated continuously. You know, you can you can see sometimes secondary patterns inside of it, right? And it turns out to be visually more than what you were anticipating or something, right? And I just went straight to the end. And then we'll start fresh again on the next border piece. And then it's like here. Here. And then just work our way to the other side. Well, don't forget to move. I know sometimes you forget and you just keep stretching and then you end up hurting yourself, so don't do that. Okay. And here you could do double loops instead. It's just do a single. Don't mind that thread. <laughs> I'll pick it up after. You know, keep it very organic. One a single, one a double, do triples, fill up the whole row with circles, you know. Fun and easy movements. We've mailed off all the charity quilts, so they should get them any day now for the Linus Project. And yes, it is uh, uh, worldwide, I believe, if not North American wide. There was a, a question at one point in time whether it was just Canadian. And no, it's not. It's American as well. So, but I, I, I'm not sure if it's actually worldwide. So, but we could find that out. But it's good to know. Just fill your way to the other side. Oh, a little wonky. That's okay. It all look good in the end. Alright. Just keep puttering. We'll finish this up. 
And then for the panel, I'm just going to highlight some of the, you know, the game pieces and the seaweed and the octopus. So I'm just going to be playing like a little tracing game on that one. So finish it off nice and easy. I think I did do a little bit better with the north to the south than I do to the east, or east to the west than I do to the north and the south. Anyways. Deep, deep, deep concentration. <laughs> Couple more. I don't want to bump into my bar. Oops. There we go. Leave on a curve there. Perfect. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Like I said, the panel's really cute. I'll leave the yellow one plain. If I do anything inside of the pink, it probably would just be really tight circles or a circle just continuously all the way around. But it's a really adorable panel. Uh, I it's, It said it was a flaw on it, but Pop and I really couldn't see it. And then we saw one little tiny mark, but really, to me, it was not a flaw. And it, it only paid $4 for the panel. So I was very excited. It was like a super score. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing on this one. So uh, let's take a boo at the end, and there'll be some pictures of me finishing it all up, okay? All right, take care, everybody. Have a fantastic Wednesday, and we'll see you on Weekend Project. Bye.